Hello everybody and welcome back to Salem with your host Banto. Today we will continue our Salem adventure. But actually our place has been destroyed, our old homestead has been gone. And uh, we actually have to go out and uh, find a new place and it's gonna take some time since I've used the wilderness guide before. It now costs 30 silver as and I do not have that silver. So that's pretty sad. But anyway, we're gonna head out, go out from town, and see what we can find. And hopefully we'll soon raise our bars here as well, so we can get our fling and all the other black bile, red bile, and all those stuffs up later. First we're gonna leave this place and as you see, I'm actually think I'm gonna run and have an F2 hotkey, so let's run away some. This is draining my flang so much when running. You can see it in the description as well. Significantly faster, but drains flang while you do so. So we can't keep running for too long. Let's put on our pilgrim hat so we can look really cool in this world. And I must say guys, there are gonna come a lot of Salem episodes soon. Because I really enjoy this game. I have been busy with other games. Busy this winter with Xmas and New Year's Eve. And if you haven't already checked out, you should go and check out my New Year's Eve video. In the video, you will see a lot of fireworks. Some of this uh, year's 2012's uh, different videos that have been on my channel. So it's a small look back with some fireworks and a great upcoming year this year. And there are gonna come a lot of episodes now with uh, Salem. Skyrim and uh, some new Age of Conan and also some with uh, Terraria and some other episodes as well of other games. But the main focus is really gonna be about Salem, Skyrim, yeah, probably those two is gonna be the main goal at the beginning of this year. And the things you're gonna get to be seeing in this game very soon are me as playing this game Salem to really get a hold what is this game what can I do in this game and what should I do and how do I do it those things I'm gonna show you and there will be like small episodes also with some tutorials parts covering different stuff but that will be when we have set up our camp so I can actually start showing off stuff and you will be able to follow along as my place will grow and give suggestions of what you want me to do. Now we're actually leaving Jamestown, so we're outside of the town, so if we're gonna... What? This land is owned by somebody? What the hell? Someone has claimed land like a big wall? Oh, that's really weird. I kind of wonder if this some kind of hacker or something. Oh, this is so stupid. But I bet he had really, really fun doing that. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can go around this the easiest way. If you who made it are watching this, damn you. <laughs> but it was actually kind of fun. I have actually thought about it too. Why have not anyone done it? And that guy who did it must have had tons of money. But if you have criminal acts, you can just move all over it, but... It's gonna cost you. I don't know if it's fling or what, which one it drains. And I think it was very... I don't know where it ends. If it is covered this whole place, that's gonna suck. I want the grass. Yes, I get the grass. Sweet. So it seems... Oh no, I'm not sure we're safe. No, yes as I thought. Oh my god, this guy. Wow. This must be like the biggest troll in this game. I'm gonna check the criminal acts to be honest. Let's go in here and 
Thing is under here, criminal acts. Criminal acts is activated. So we're walking over. Screw you. We're trespassing the way. So let's shut that off. 50 minutes left as present state. I think he can punish me because I walked over it. Dear, he probably have his like army over here like shoot him down. He has walked over my place. And sadly enough guys, it's gonna take a while for me to get to the place where we're gonna settle down. It might be some skips in this episode just to relieve you some of the pain of watching me walking for like hours. It's not all all, all, all that uh, it much better away, like in resources far away. It's also that it can be safer to be far further away from town. Because if I would settle here, like almost all players on the whole server will know where I live. And that's definitely not good, and definitely not good when you're starting out, because you're not gonna have like a defense, you're gonna have a homestead, you're not gonna have a claim and land, and people are just gonna walk in, oh nice crate, what's in it, oh a sword, sweet. Though you're probably not gonna have a sword before you have a claim at land, but that's that. Oh nice, things is lavender, they can be really useful. When I played last time at my old character, I almost never found them. It's because they are not in all kinds of regions. Lavender blew it. Blew it up. Still rabbit deer. I'm really looking forward to start making leather and those stuff so we can make some nice bags and some uh, new clothing as I had in my previous character. You see this landscape here, I really don't like it. And I know that further away, if I keep walking the same direction, I think I'm gonna end up in a region where there are hills all over the place. Because I think this is the, the direction that me and my friends walked the last time. But uh, the thing when I was with me and my friend and my brother is that they are not playing at the moment. They're busy or playing some other games or anything, but... Uh, one day we'll arrive in Salem again. I probably will have a claim and then they, we will start from there and I will give the password so they can live at my place and teleport to me. And if I remember that's a one time thing. So if I get one of those claim, they can get to me. I mean, they don't wanna run like 5 hours to get to me. Where are you? Just follow the arrow. It's just tons of mountains in the way. And a lake. Some other stuff, like a hundred people wanting to kill you and a beer chewing on your leg. You don't want that. I really hope they will add so we can travel out in the wilderness together to start out earlier. And if you're wondering if you're playing Salem at the moment and uh, watching my game here and see that my map and some stuff looks different than when you're playing. It's most likely because I'm using a custom client with Ender, it's called Ender Client. And uh, it will be in my description of the video, so you can easily find that. So it will ease up a lot of you. I don't know how the Salem crew stands for this client. It's like, without these things on a map, it's really like super hard to find stuff. That might be the point with it, but... In my opinion, if it's gonna be like that, it's gonna be like if you use forage or any like gathering skills, you're gonna pop up stuff on a map depending on what skills you're using. Maybe when you're walking around like me, using no skill at all, then maybe no stuff on a map or just very few. Or maybe when you're not using a skill, you're just walking around normally, you will only find like uh, the basic things. And if you get some like mushroom hunting or something. Then maybe it will pop up more like, I'm out searching mushrooms 
for my little cooking. We're doing some other stuff in the wood. But that just me. Some of these. I know the Salem crew seems very interactive with the, with the communities. You never know if they watch this and take it in. They have maybe even thought about that idea. I'm not sure where they stand in it. And I don't know how far away this game is from release now, but uh, I think it's re really good so far. I don't know if the, this dark region, if it's uh, accessible yet or not. The other place where I had, we lived very close to it. But I have not tried to see if we could get in. It was like this huge hills and things in the way. At least I have you guys with me when I'm walking this long path. Also guys, is there any specific tutorials you want me to do? They might not be released very soon, but they will be released if it's something you're really wondering about for later. I have not been so much into the criminal things in this game yet. Mainly because I'm, I think I'm more of the good guy in the game, even though I was so naughty boy and stole some stuff before the place. But as I said, they did not own it, no claim, no ownage. Only losing stuff. And that's the scary thing if you put the base too close to town, people are gonna be able to access it. Oh no. Now we are what, in one of these lands that I really don't like. I think I've been here before. It's like, Bill, you might think like, oh, some hill there, let's climb over it. But yeah, it's gonna be a thousand more. That's not the end of it. So let's try to take away and see if we can get away from this if we watch walk a different path. Let's continue walking here though. And you see there are some leaves there. If they are leaves and uh, you're early in the game, it can be worth picking them up because I think the respawn time for them are... It's either like 24 hours or 48 or something. So it's, they respawn really slow. And the first time when I played I was like, what am I gonna do in this game? There are like nothing I can do. I can pick anything up. How should I craft anything? But it's because it's too close to town and uh, the respawn time is kind of slow and it's actually good that it's very slow because if it would be spawning like once every 10 minutes or one hour or something it would be too easy. We don't like it too easy. This is a sandbox game where you lose or win. Maybe you've seen a town and been there. There have been some people who I think are kind of rich in the game with all those masks and all those things. I've never had one of those actually, but I don't really like them either anyway, so I prefer my little leather hat that I have with my other little character. And this is one thing I really like about the custom client as well. You see, I have free view in the game. If you're playing with your original client, you can only have like follow your character. And here is a kind of nice early place. I think it looks really good, the bonus. And see, here have flattened out the ground, kind of good. And you have uh, fences, early fences around. Some, and some uh, saw bench here, and some is producing some coal, charcoal, and. Uh, yeah, it seems to be doing kind of well, and I think it looks kind of good. I would personally not settle down here though, mainly because they're like one region of uh, they're like only one type of terrain here. The terrain in this game, you can find different stuff, but he probably have some reason why he settled down here. Maybe he just get I'm not walking anymore. I'm not sure. So, but guys, I think this is gonna be the end for today's episode of Salem. 
but there are coming more episodes of this game soon. I might skip ahead and walk some of my own so you don't have to just see me walking, walking, walking if you don't like me walking, walking. But until next time guys, see you in my other videos or in my upcoming Salem episodes. Take care, have a great day, this is Banto, cheers!